Hello everyone, my name is Tabby and welcome back to my channel Keeping Tabs where today I'm sharing with you guys my May TBR. So, for the month of May, I am participating in the Sailor Moon Readathon that is hosted by B from Bookish Pisces and it's taking place from May 1st to May 20th and I'm so happy that it's a longer readathon because I cannot do these week-long readathons that are so popular. A week? I can barely read one book in a week and they want me to read like seven? Are you kidding? But this one is longer so I am so excited and there are 13, 13? Yeah, 13 challenges and prompts that are all based on Sailor Moon and the Sailor Scouts and all that good stuff. It's basically like the booktube games where you have to read as many pages as you can and the pages count for points and then the challenges count for points and then you're on teams and the teams are divided into the Sailor Scouts. I'm on Team Jupiter. And I think that's everything that you need to know about the 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 readathon. I will leave all the necessary links down below if you want to learn more about it. But yeah, let's get into it. So the only required book that we have to read is the group book, and that is Beds Are for Flowers by RK Gold, who is a fellow booktuber, fellow book Twitter, Twitterer, book Twitterer? They're on book Twitter. <laughs> this and this is a middle grade, and I can't even remember the last time I read a middle grade, so this should be interesting. Like really, when was the last time? I don't even... I don't read much middle grade, so I don't know. Hmm. There's also the team books, so depending on what team you're on, Sailor Moon, Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Saturn, whatever, you have to read the assigned book. And for Team Jupiter, that book is The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. Kuang? I think that's how you say it. Can you just like, thank you, like... White covers really mess me up on the camera, you know what I mean? You know what I mean. So I heard this was a grim dark fantasy. Is it a fantasy? It's a fantasy. It's based on a historical fact, I think, but like fantasy kind of. I feel like it's a kind of um similar to uh what's it called? And I darken where this the actual story in history is true, but then it's just fictionalized. Fictionalized? I really don't even know what this is about, so just like disregard everything I'm saying about this because I don't know. I don't know. But that's what I think. <laughs> this book will also count for the Sailor Jupiter Challenge, which is to read a book that is 400 plus pages. The next book I have is The Reluctant Queen by Sarah Beth Durst, and this counts for the challenge of Sailor Uranus, which is to read a book with a gorgeous cover. And I love the covers of these books. My favorite color is green, and I love scenery art on books. And it's just so, I just, the covers for all of these books are so beautiful. I think they're gorgeous. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. Next, I have a very important book, and this is the one I'm going to pri prioritize for May, and it is Queen of Shadows by Sarah J. Mass. I need to continue on. It's been too, like, this is ridiculous. I need to, I need to read this. This covers the challenge of Sailor Jupiter, which is 400 plus pages covers the challenge for Sailor Venus, which is a character with a special ability, and covers the challenge for Sailor Mars, which is a book with a fire element. Next I have From Here to You by Jamie McGuire, which covers the challenge for Tuxedo Mask, which is to read a romance. It covers the challenge for Sailor Saturn, which is to read a standalone. And it covers the challenge for Sailor Neptune, which is to read a contemporary. The next book I have is Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo, the second book in the Grisha trilogy. I'm so excited to reread this, and it covers the challenge for Sailor Moon, which is to reread an old favorite. This whole trilogy is a favorite of mine. I reread Shadow and Bone last year, and this one is the one I have the least memories of in the entire trilogy, and it's also the one that I didn't annotate. So I'm so excited to go through this and um, annotate and tab and just relive this whole book because I really don't even remember I don't remember much about this how weird is that I that's weird and I will definitely say this covers the challenge for Sailor Uranus which is a gorgeous cover because I love the covers of this trilogy I love the font style I love the gray and red I just love all of it the next book I have is Four by Veronica Roth which is a collection of divergent novellas told through the perspective of four Tobias Eden and the novellas are The Transfer, The Initiate, The Sun, and The Traitor. And this covers the challenge of Chibiusa which is to read a novella and also the challenge of Sailor Pluto which is to read a dystopian. It has been so long since I've been in the divergent world and I didn't like Insurgent and Allegiant. I only love Divergent and this takes place during the divergent 
first book timeline, like in that time. So I am so excited. And lastly, I have Death Note. Am I holding this? It's upside down. Death Note by Sugumi Oba and Takeshi Obata. And this covers the challenge of Sailor Mercury, which is to read a challenging book. And I don't know if this is going to be challenging, but it's my first time reading manga. So I just, because I can't think of another challenging book that I have on my shelf. So I'm going with Death Note. And I'm pretty excited because you have to like read it the other way and this is just gonna be such a fun experience I know I'm gonna forget to read left to right I know you have to flip from left to right but I'm probably gonna read like right to left on the page and like be confused multiple times so I'm excited this is fun I'm ready I also have another idea for the Sailor Mercury challenge which is the challenging book and it's actually the world of ice and fire by George R.R. Martin, Elio M. Garcia, and Linda Antonson this is like a textbook, a history textbook for the world of Ice and Fire. And I'm not going to read the whole thing because that's a lot. And no, I'm not going to do that. But I'll probably read the first chapter or two, which is Ancient History and the Reign of Dragons. Especially since Game of Thrones is back on and I'm back in the world and in the fields. So I might end up picking this up instead of Death Note. Haven't decided yet, but it is on my radar this month. Whoo! Because, oh my god, this month is like, this, oh my gosh, we don't have a lot of episodes left of Game of Thrones. <sighs> I wasn't prepared for that kind of knowledge to hit me right now. Wow, this is the last month of Game of Thrones. Yeah, I'm reading this. I'm reading this. Anyways, that is my TBR for May. I'm probably not going to read all of this. I'm not going to lie. I'll probably read like one or two not one i'll read two or three if i'm lucky four of these books because i'm a slow reader and that's just me let me know if you're participating what you're reading this month what team you're on and i will see you guys in my next video bye